International Training for Elders and Responsible Ones October 2022 Week 3 Day 5 Morning Nourishment Ephesians 4 to 12 And he himself gave some as apostles and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as shepherds and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints unto the work of the ministry, unto the building up of the body of Christ. The revelation of the church in Ephesians has two main aspects. The first aspect is the work of the ministry to build up the body of Christ. The second aspect is our spiritual life, which comprises many spiritual experiences that enable us to live a life that matches, or is worthy of, the church life. In Ephesians 4.12 Paul does not speak of the building up of the church, which may be taken to refer to the building up of a congregation or assembly. Instead, Paul speaks of the building up of an organic body, a body full of life. All the gifts, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, and shepherds and teachers, are given to perfect the saints to do the work of the ministry, which is to build up the body of Christ. The gifts are given to perfect every member, no matter how large, small, strong, weak, old, or young. We should not think that we are too small or weak to be needed in the body of Christ. Every believer is important and needed as a member of the body. What is needed today is an organic building of the body not directly by Christ as the head or by the gifted persons but by all the members. Today's reading We need to consider if our love for the Lord is in corruptible things or in incorruptible things. We need to learn how to shepherd new believers for the building up of the body of Christ in order to love him in incorruptibility. One day we will stand before the Lord and give an account concerning how we loved him. In order to endeavor to learn something new, such as how to shepherd new believers, it seems that we will have to pay a price, but we will actually enjoy the Lord and receive his supply. The more we love the Lord in incorruptibility, the more we enjoy Him. Likewise, when we speak in the meetings, we are made joyful and even enlivened in our mortal bodies, because we are loving the Lord in incorruptibility by working to directly build up the body of Christ. Whether we love the Lord in incorruptibility depends on the things we love Him in. Although many other things will be corrupted, the body of Christ is incorruptible. The building of this body comprises three main categories of work, visiting others with the gospel to bring them into the triune God, shepherding new believers in home meetings, and speaking in the church meetings. The issue of these three kinds of labor will remain forever and will never be corrupted. Therefore, to do them out of our love for the Lord is to love Him in incorruptibility. The organic service of the New Testament priesthood of the Gospel involves the preaching of the Gospel for the saving of sinners, offering them up as sacrifices to God. Following that, there is the nourishing of the believers and helping them to grow so that they can offer themselves up as living sacrifices to God. In addition, there is the perfecting of the saints that they may do the work of the ministry unto the organic building up of the body of Christ. Finally, we have to lead the saints to prophesy, to speak for God, for the organic building up of the church. We all have to be like the Apostle Paul, who labored and struggled in all wisdom to present every man full grown in Christ to God. This is the organic service of the body of Christ. It is for everyone, and it is in a priesthood. Everyone preaches the gospel to save sinners, everyone nourishes the believers, everyone perfects the saints, and everyone prophesies. In this way all of us will arrive at a full-grown stage, and the body of Christ will be built up. This is the end of today's morning revival.